Yeah. Right, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute. All right. I'm in it. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll continue our, our media week availability with Isak Bonga. Please raise your hand and I'll get to your question uh, when, you, when you raise your hand. All right, we'll get started with uh, Chris Miller. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it. Isak, what's going on, brother? How are you? How are you doing, my brother? Good, man. Hey, since the bubble, time away, going out to LA, working out with John and some of your other teammates, where have you seen the biggest growth in your game? I definitely would say this then like understanding the game. Also, just like playing with John, playing with everybody on the teammates, Troy, TB, Rui. Just like playing, just, just like understanding the game. It's like that you put it on your keychain. Uh, okay. Can we, can we everyone mute their computers? To guys. Yeah. Obviously, really look forward to it. So. Yep. Uh, Chase Hughes. What's up, Isak? Good to see you, man. Um, you guys, uh, about half your roster now is international players, and there's a chance that you guys are going to have the most international players of any team in the league or be up there. Um, you're one of those guys. What, what do you think that's going to do to the, the team, the style of play in the locker room? And then, I mean, I think it's just showing like how international the league is I think, coming and uh, going to be in the future. And uh, I think it's just like a good thing having like all those different people from all those different places here. And uh, I think we're going to have like a really, really good chemistry in us already, like seeing all those new guys who come from overseas. Obviously, those people who've been here. So it's really a really good group and I'm um, looking forward to play with everybody. Hey, Stock, good to see you. Hope you had a good summer. I'm curious, obviously, you know, last year you had the opportunity to start, you know, quite a few games. Um, I'm sure, you know, you're willing to do whatever role a coach has asked for you. But how could you compare and contrast, you know, your level of play when you were able to start immediately versus coming off the bench? I mean, those are just like stuff I'm going to be thinking about, to be honest. I mean, I'm really just going to do whatever coach is going to ask me for at the end of the day. We all just trying to win games. And uh, what I'm going to do in this position is just like trying to play hard as possible and have my team win games. Fred? How you doing, Isaac? Hey, how you doing? Uh, what was your focus over the last, uh, I mean, it hasn't been that long since the last time you played, but what, what was your focus over this off season? Did you have anything in particular or multiple things in particular you really tried to hone in on? Obviously off season is like a time to work on your whole game, but kind of put my focus on watching a lot of video and working on my shot. So, and obviously getting stronger. So just like trying to do all those things, keep on just understanding the game keep on um, making those shots, keep on getting stronger, to keep my ground again, really good offensive player. So we just are walking, they're working on everything and uh, trying to become a better player. What, uh, what video were you watching and, and what, did you, uh, what did you get from that specifically? I watched like a lot of games in the bubble, but also just like games from the season, just to see in what positions could I be better, see how could I help my team better. And just like watching also like different people just to see, okay, I think it was more like defenders just to see, okay, what could they do in this position? What could they do in this situation? Um, just to understand the game better. Thanks, Isak. Chris Miller. Isak, I got uh, two questions. One is Scott said it's an open competition at the small forward or wing position between, I think you, Denny and Troy, how do you attack competition within the group? And the second question is, is there any new songs you've worked on the pianos? To see <laughs> all the um, I mean, competition is uh, how it works. Like, yeah, it does make sense. But I feel like my main focus right now is more on like, 
just becoming like a better player. And then like whatever it is we want to start or who want to play, I mean, it's just like, give it all if you like out there, even if it's just going to be five minutes. So this is kind of the approach I'm like going into it because uh, at the end of the day, we're all just trying to win. We all just want to win games, get to the playoffs. So this is kind of how we, how I'm going into it. And uh, yeah, I got one, one new song, but I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished it yet. If I'm done, I'm gonna let you know. Is it an original composition or did you steal it from somebody? Nah, I, I steal it from somebody. I, I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work on it. Work on it. Chase? Isak, what was your uh, shooting regimen like this off season? Was there like a number of shots that you aim to get up every day or, or make every day? What was uh, the process like? Because you know, I'm sure, like any young player, you're trying to get better with your outside. Yeah, it was really just like getting a lot of reps up, getting a lot of reps. Obviously, game situation, y'all know John. Just like having those point guard who basically sees everything, even like playing with him. So. It's really about like getting a lot of reps, just like getting getting comfortable with this three point line, getting into like game situations, knowing how this is. If you're in the corner, John gonna come full sprint pass to you. Yeah, I'll be able to make those shots. So um, yeah, it's just like really about like getting rep, reps and uh, try to feel how the game gonna be. Brad. Yeah, Isak, I had to ask you this because because this is the week every single year when every player says they're in the best shape of their lives, right? Uh, and I remember you came into the bubble and you said that you would gain like eight pounds or 10 pounds of, of muscle. Is that something that, that continued? Uh, was that a focus or were you good with the, uh, with the shape that you were in there and are trying to maintain that? Maintain that? No, it's uh, obviously still just trying to gain weight and still trying to get stronger in that sense. So, um, I think you always can get in better shape. And I'm still working on my conditioning, still working on my body. So it's like, for me, I take it like day by day. I'm trying to get every day a little bit better. And if it's about my shot, about like my body strength, like all this stuff is basically the same thing. I got, I got one more. I just have, what was the song that you that you learned on the piano? Uh, it's called, uh, for at least it's like a German one. It wasn't that one movie I can't think of, but uh, like once, one, once I'm done, I'm gonna let Chris now play it. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Isak. We also do bar mitzvahs. We do uh, <laughs> soul parties. Y'all just hit, hit me uh, up on Twitter, man. I, I'll get Esoc to you guys' party. Uh, <laughs> Thank, thanks, Chris. Um, any more questions? We'll wrap up with Esoc. All right. Um, we weren't able to get to everybody for permission to recording, but we'll send the link out to everyone in a few minutes so you'll have the whole recording. Um, we'll see you back at 11 this morning for Thomas Bryant. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Isaac. Thanks, Thanks, David. Straight. Thank you.